I don't know who the heck this is. I don't know who the heck this is. I don't know who the heck this is. to my youtube channel my name is Nalinga Koei thank you so much for clicking on this video I truly appreciate it because it means you've supported me and that is something I'm really really grateful they don't like um, women who put on makeup and all those falsehoods that we know about uh, today I'm going to show you how you can create woke up like this yes that's the kind of look we are going for today I woke up like this face so in reality i did wake up like this in fact without eyebrows because i've just drawn on some eyebrows but but hmm, hmm, we are gonna look fabulous at the end of this so stay tuned guys so the first thing that we're going to need is this concealer and i'm just using the illegal concealer as usual my i don't know at this point they should just sponsor me honestly <laughs> but anyway i'm just using it to define my brows so i'm applying it at the top and the bottom of my eyebrows and the one i'm using is actually in the shade fawn and when you're defining your brows you want to make sure that you're using a concealer that is a few shades lighter than your natural skin tone Next, I'm just taking this um, brush. It's a um, yeah, it's just a brush, and I'm just using it to make sure that the concealer is properly. Um, hmm. These terms, these terminologies, where do they disappear? Yeah, blending. Yeah, I'm basically bl blending the concealer into the the skin so that it can create a nice even surface. That was a coffee break. Sorry, guys. And then there's foundation. That I'm going to use and I'm going to use the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. And lucky for me, this Revlon Foundation actually has a pump. So I'm just pumping it onto the skin directly. No need to be messy and all that. I know some of you are going to say, well, that's not your foundation shade. Well, guess what? It is my foundation shade. Well, what happened is that this foundation is actually like an oxidizing foundation, which means it turns a bit darker after you've applied it. And not only that, I also have a tan. Like where I work is really, really hot. But you're going to see the areas I've, got, I've blended. By the end of the video, you'll actually see that she'll be blended well into my skin. And yes, I do love this foundation so, so much. In case you are skeptical about this foundation, look at the one in my neck, like it blended so well. I know the one on my face is still like a mask, but the one on my neck for sure blended so well. But at the end of this at the end of this video, you're going to see that this foundation was really, really good. Next, I'm just taking the same same concealer, the illegal concealer, and I'm just applying it all over um, the areas that you're seeing I'm applying specifically to highlight those areas and also to conceal some eye bags and yes next i'm just using the trusted sasha buttercup setting powder to make sure that i'm setting the areas that i've just concealed You know, the areas under the skin are naturally, for younger people, that is, they're naturally, like, lighter and brighter. So, that's what we are going for. More coffee, please. 
And now I'm just taking the Maybelline setting powder, which is the Fit Me setting powder in the shade 350 Caramel. And I'm using it as a shadow. That's what I was patting into my eyelids because we want to look flawless and natural. We don't want to look like we have any makeup on. We want to fool the guys. We want to fool everybody around us that we are perfect. And I'm just also applying that setting powder, the Maybelline one, all over my face after I've removed the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Now I'm just taking the Total Temptation, Maybelline Total Temptation mascara here. Yeah. And I'm just applying it on my upper and lower lashes just before I put on my fake eyelashes because fake eyelashes are still being put on just make sure that you apply like ones that look a bit natural next i'm just taking this miss rose highlighter and i'm going to use it to define my lips and also to highlight the lips before i apply lipstick And I'm going to use two shades of lipstick so that I can get a natural looking lipstick because I don't have a lipstick that looks natural on me. So this one is in the shade Dark Chocolate and it's by Luron. And Luron is not L'Oreal, please. It's Luron. And it's a Kenyan company if I'm not wrong. Please correct me in the yeah. comment section if I'm wrong, but I believe it's a Kenyan company. But its products are made in China. So this is Dark Chocolate as you can see. So the lipstick that I'm going to apply on top of that is the LA Colors uh, Going Steady. It's a matte lipstick. It's like a nude lipstick with uh, undertones, peach, brownish undertones. And I'm just going to take this uh, bronzer shade from a Dubois palette. <laughs> so sad it was a fake but anyway i'm just taking that uh bronzer shade and i'm just applying it on my nose all the way down 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 to my nose trying to contour it trying to make it more european despite the fact that i'm african but i have an excuse my nose was broken when i was young and now i can actually like make it look straight so i'm just contouring this nose so that it can look straight and nice and sharp I'm just going to lightly apply the Miss Rose uh, highlighter on the bar, on the nose, very lightly, and also on my cheeks, the area where it, uh, the light hits them. I'm also going to take that bronzer shade, and I'm just going to apply it in the hollows of my cheeks so that I can look Kim K snatched, snatched, my friend. Now I'm just going to take this blush shade from the same palette and I am going to apply it on my cheekbones, on the apples, not on my cheekbones, on the apples of my cheeks, if there's such a thing as apples of the cheeks. Sorry guys. See guys, even the foundation blended in seamlessly. Nobody is going to believe that you have makeup on nobody. Now you can safely say, I woke up like this. I woke up like this. <laughs> guys for joining me in this video i truly appreciate it um i bet you fooled everyone i can bet you i can bet you that no guy is going to, to believe that you have makeup on and you'll just be there when he's trash talking people who have makeup like anyway um so i'm going to see you in my next video i truly appreciate it if you reach this point make sure you subscribe if you do like my content and also like this video you can also drop a comment and tell me anything I love comments. I'll appreciate them. And you can also give me content ideas. I don't mind. 
Uh, so I post on every Monday and Thursday and occasionally on Wednesday. Sometimes it's on Wednesday or Thursday. So Monday, Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah, so, so I'll see you in my next video. Bye.